A recent I-Team investigation has politicians in Tallahassee now looking at changing state law. In November, we exposed how many drunk boaters have histories of drunk driving. Now, I-Team investigator Adam Walzer shares another victim story prompting lawmakers to respond. They were just going to go out jet skiing. That was the last I heard from him. And um, the next phone call I got. The holidays brought back tears for Gina Hollis. Um, that's my son. Because it was a year ago on December 23rd, 2013, that her husband Lee was jet skiing on Florida's west coast when he was struck by a boat as his sons looked on. He died hours later. I mean, you've just talked to this person a few hours ago. Everything was perfect. And, and then they're telling you that they're gone. It's really hard to believe. Also hard to believe what Gina learned about the boater accused of killing him. Investigators say Bruce Villardi was drunk and speeding when he struck Lee Hollis. At the time of the crash, Villardi had lost his license to drive a car after being convicted of DUI. It's just incredible that that can even happen. Villardi is one of dozens of people we found across the state who had been arrested for both BUI and DUI. He's also one of 19 convicted DUI offenders who last year alone was involved in a deadly boat crash linked to alcohol. But Florida law has few ways to discourage a drunk driver from getting behind the wheel of a boat. Hey, maybe this is something that needs to be looked at. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are now seeking a solution. I think anybody listening um, would find it absurd that we do not react. Last month, Representative Gail Harrell suggested one way to combat drunk boating is to attack someone's driver's license. This is a lethal weapon and there's the same amount of accountability ought to be whether it's a boat or a car. Now she's drafting legislation to make it law. By linking that BUI with the DUI and linking it to the driver's license, we will be holding people responsible. Gina Hollis will never know if a stronger law could have saved her husband, but she says if it saves even one life, she supports it. That my children uh, will not have a father that's, that's the thing. Bruce Villardi is out on bond awaiting trial. His driver's license remains suspended, but he can still legally operate a boat in Florida anytime he wants. I'm investigator Adam Walser taking action for you. And if you have something you'd like to have Adam and the I-Team investigate, you can join them on Facebook or email them at iteam at abcactionnews.com.